What's up y'all? It's Alexis here coming to y'all with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about why do I hate dating in my 20s. If you're in your 20s currently, no matter if you're in your early 20s, your mid 20s, your late 20s, y'all are going to relate to this video if you're just dating in general in your 20s. So if you're interested, continue watching and if not, then you feel free to click off this video but we're gonna go ahead and jump into it okay so everybody knows that the dating scene that we are in in 2021 is chaos um not only just dealing with covid it's just dealing with people in general me myself i am currently 23 years old um so i'm kind of like in the early 20s in my dating and i can just tell you guys it has been a interesting ride when i say interesting it's been pretty interesting like i just oh my god i don't even really know how to like explain it but i came up with some good like lists like a couple you know little bullet points that i think is just that just makes dating in your 20s even harder um so my first one that i wanted to say was inconsistency you guys um a lot of people in their 20s really don't know what they want um and a lot of people are very inconsistent me myself i know i'm inconsistent with texting people back but that's that's not my problem i already tell people whoever talks to me that i don't i don't text back because number one i do not like to text i understand that sometimes people have busy schedules um but you're not busy all the time where you can't answer a phone call or pick up a phone one day just to, for like five minutes like I'm, I'm just saying like i'm just gonna put that out there i don't care whoever takes offense to that because that's just personally how i feel you make time what you want to make time for that's just straight off the bat like if i want to go to sleep i'm gonna make time to go to sleep okay like all like throughout like my whole freaking life like i had a lot of responsibilities but if i wanted to go to sleep i'm gonna go to sleep okay you're gonna make time for what you want to make time for i don't care what anybody says and don't let nobody tell you different because they got five minutes that they could talk take out of their time and out of their day for you if they're truly interested so if they're not doing that and they're trying to act funny about any of that stuff go ahead and cut them off just cut them off sorry if there's anybody that disagrees with that but that's just my that's just personally how i feel like i mean that's that's just honestly how i feel because i mean who if i'm really genuinely interested in somebody and i know i have an actual busy schedule but i really at the same time want to get to know this person i'm going to find some time some time don't matter when if if it's not on on a day take some time like take some time out of your day to actually get to know that person actually talk to that person you you are in control of what you're in control of you know can't nobody tell you what to do you you have free will okay you have free will so let's stop acting confused when it comes to that so inconsistency is number one in this freaking generation people they say they want this and they go about you know they they still don't they they don't come up they don't show up okay they don't show up i've dealt with a lot of guys that have always promised me a lot of things like oh we could do this i'll take you on dates um you don't ever want to see me type vibes da, 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 da. but when i actually am like okay we can do this or whatever 
they are very they're they're on hush mode they're quiet or it's just never it's just never something that they want to actually do like it's always just so like i i don't look back and forth i don't look back and forth make up your mind if you want to deal with me and if you want to actually talk to me and actually get to know me and actually go somewhere with this then you won't be doing all this back and forth you just won't be doing the back and forth okay um what is something else that i realized the talking stage y'all the talking stage some people will never get out of the talking stage i have previously been one of those people i'm currently not really looking to date nobody so i've i've been when i was in the dating field and when i was actively looking for somebody and actually willing to receive i that talking stage it's just mm, the talking stage it's just i don't know i feel like i don't know how long you're supposed to be in a talking stage because i've never actually really been in a relationship i've had situationships that were similar to relationships but i them talking stages i feel like in this generation negroes get comfortable being in that stage they don't want to take it anymore anywhere farther and if you ask them about okay so what what are we doing they get mad and be like so why are you acting confused like you didn't know what it was in the beginning well sir i told you what i wanted from the beginning so why are you acting confused that i'm asking you this question you said that you would be okay with getting to know me and see where things go okay so now it's been two three months later i'm trying to figure out where is this going because at this point you're just wasting my time and i i hate wasting people's time and i hate people wasting my time my time is very valuable we only have 24 hours in a day what makes you think i want to sit over here consistently wasting two hours three hours four hours out of my day for somebody that's not even going to mean anything a month later like okay like do you know how much like how much stuff like i could be doing within that amount of time let's be honest here be upfront with what you want with a person from the beginning so talking stages i don't like them um, I just feel like they can get a lot, like a lot of stuff can get miscon, misconstrued. I don't know if that's a word. But I feel like a lot of stuff, there's a lot of confusion when I'm in the talking stage. And I feel like I've never really fully made it out of the talking stage. And Negroes that have, um, quote unquote, said that they want me to be their girlfriend. I just feel like y'all be playing. I'll be playing like I like and then they get mad if you don't take them serious when they say it so I'm just like whatever so the next thing I would have to say is dating like actually dating people really get the term dating and getting to know people confused with um a lot of casualties like a lot of casual activities okay like people really get that confused like actually dating if you're gonna date multiple people just do that okay dating people does not mean go from person to person in you know certain activities okay like people are really getting that confused like if you're gonna be dating just get to know a person talk to that person Please don't add three people on your roster. I've done it before. I've done it before. Highly do not recommend. Last summer, I was living a crazy lifestyle. 10 out of 10 do not recommend. Okay? I was I was living on some other stuff. Like, see one dude at this time. Then go see another dude at that time. Actually, I was having both of them pull up on me. So, that's very toxic. I know. Please do not judge. Um, moral of the story is if you're going to talk to somebody if you're actually interested in somebody like one person just talk to that one person I if you because I, I really don't recommend like dating around like talking to multiple people I with me 
with me i know i know myself like i know i cannot talk to multiple people at one time like i cannot that's a lot of that's giving your energy away to a lot of people and like the lifestyle that i was living last year in the summertime like i had like maybe three four guys on the roster yes i said roster i wasn't it's was nothing serious but i was like friends with them like cool with them i guess go casual places maybe talking to them i don't know but at one point i kind of got to a point where i got confused with like who was who i started messing up their signs their signs their birthdays and all of that because all of their birthdays were kind of like mixed together like kind of like back to back like it was really really close so i remember i know i said some stuff that really kind of got me caught up but the negroes just let me slide because they were probably talking to a bunch of females so i mean i don't know i don't know but i i, I do not recommend if you're gonna if you're gonna be talking to a couple of people i really would recommend just keeping it down at two if the, the two is the highest i recommend like do not go above that because once you hit that three four <laughs> good luck sis okay that's all i gotta say it's good luck y'all i'm not on that toxic energy anymore i i had to learn my lesson got my heart broke two times from both of them so no i i don't recommend and that's also something that I don't recommend and that's why I don't recommend dating multiple people is because that you end up catching feelings for for them. Like if you actually really, really like somebody and then you might have to end up choosing. And what makes it worse is if neither chooses you. So take that into consideration. Just go ahead and block out your ego, okay? Go ahead and block that out. That's not important, okay? pride and ego that's like that's, that's the devil okay just block that out okay listen to your heart listen to you know what feels right to you and go from there um oh and another thing about dating negroes don't actually like to take you out on dates everybody just wants to pull up to your house what do i need to see you at my house for i don't want it i like especially if you're dating online people i need y'all to be 100 percent real here it's some psychos out there it's some psychos out there stop trying to pull up to people's houses please please stop trying to tell people to come pull up on y'all like it's it's just not realistic it's not realistic i need y'all to start putting more effort into actually getting to know a person like i think a lot of guys really get a lot of females confused because they think that we all want this like super elegant classy like dinner type vibe on a first date or something like that i'm not expecting that i'm expecting for you to actually try and actually put in effort to try to you know make me feel special you know i'm not saying you have to do like this extravagant dinner i'm not saying that none of that type of stuff y'all my favorite food is wings okay you could really get some american deli you could you know put together something actually like you're trying car dates something i don't know like they was actually like, make an excuse for literally every single thing i know you got ten dollars I know you got ten dollars. I see the kind of car that you drive. I know this type of lifestyle that you live. I know you got ten dollars. Stop trying to act broke. Because I'm one of those females. If a guy, if I notice a guy is actually trying and is actually he take care of me, I'll make sure he good too. I'm one of them. Like I'm not one of those that's gonna make you sit there and pay for everything all the time. The first, I know. Just know, like, because I can be able to afford my stuff. I know the type of lifestyle that I want to live. And if I can pay for it, you know, you just got to be on the same type of energy as I am. I'm not, like, I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. Okay. So, what's, the, what's something else that I've noticed that I hate about dating? In my 20s, I, I don't know. It's just a lot of stuff, to be honest. Like, 
social media let me go ahead and throw that in there social media really creates a false perception of what relationships should look like because y'all y'all be seeing relationship goals to some of the most stupidest stuff like i just don't understand like let me take for example the little dark and antia um their relationship i guess um they had a shootout at their house and allegedly i don't know they had a shootout at their house and um i guess they said india had pulled hers out too and was with it um and i was like yeah um that's relationship goals type of y'all i just want y'all to know i do not like guns i do not like guns i'm sorry so if i i just she a writer she a writer i give india her process my birthday twin but like y'all I'm not, I'm not about to be shooting over shooting at nobody <laughs> for nobody unless you like my family i don't know like like unless my life is in danger your life is in danger i guess that was that type of situation but they was just talking about relationship goals y'all i'm not want to ever go through nothing like that because that's very traumatic that's very traumatic and i feel like i would have to live my life looking over my shoulder like I, it's because that's somebody coming to your home. I, no, no, I don't care what nobody says. That's not relationship goals. I don't ever be, I don't ever want to have to be put in that situation. I guess if you are ever put in that situation, that you, then you know what you gotta do. You know what you gotta do. So, I mean, but, but still, it's just, I don't know. I just feel like people really praise these celebrities in their relationships and some of their relationships really be screwed up to a t and i just really think that we should normalize having our own standards and stop looking to other people to see what what is the quote-unquote um standard or i guess highest point that you need to be at to be able to have a relationship like theirs like i no 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 because that's this is not that's not normal but no stop doing that people everybody stop doing that let's just focus on ourselves and what we have and what we know how we feel and what makes us feel good you know stop relying on social media to make you feel a certain way and to tell you what is acceptable and what's not so if you're cool with it then that's all that matters so please stop setting relationship goals be your own relationship goals set standards in your own relationships and stop looking for other to other people for that i guess stamp of approval um what is something else that i don't know i don't know let's see I don't know. Hmm. Okay, holding yourself accountable. Everybody, that the number one thing that I feel like is very important is being able to hold yourself accountable in these relationships. Everybody plays a part in every single thing that they do, okay? The outcome doesn't just come from a one person. Everybody plays a part and everybody plays a role in whatever relationship y'all got going on. If you allow a person to treat yourself a certain way and you know that you really aren't okay with that, put a nip to put a nip it in the bud. Okay? Just cut it. Just cut it. I'm guilty of dumbing down my standards to accept some of these Negroes because I thought that that's what I could get. That's not true. Okay? Don't be surprised when you see a person's true colors because really, if you're being honest, they really show you who they are. Like within a month. Within a month, they'll show you who, you, who they are. 
okay and if they have a problem with a lot of the things that you're saying about how you feel or whatever go ahead and cut them in the butt i keep saying cut them in the butt nip them in the butt cut them off okay because at this point if it's always a problem and you can't find a way to compromise some of the things that i want and some of the things that i see that's wrong within the relationship and i mean there's nothing that we need to talk about okay but everybody plays a role in the relationship so please if you're about to get in a relationship or something like that let your standards be known let them know who you are let them know what you won't tolerate not what you will tolerate but let's let them know what you won't tolerate okay because a lot of these new girls they like to to test you to see how far they can push you i'm telling you i'm crazy so let let another negro try me let another negro try me it's, it's on him not me but i just no no i'm gonna give an example um okay so one of my examples is one of the guys that i was talking to um he kept disappearing like he would disappear out of nowhere like one day he would be with me like we would be 100 percent good like we're best friends and everything like completely cool cordial everything like not a problem in the world next day okay maybe he's busy second day okay maybe he's still busy maybe he's got a lot going on third day well i see he posted i see he watched my story i texted him no response fourth day okay I see you read the message and you still didn't respond. Okay. Fifth day, no response. Sixth day, no response. Seventh day, no response. All the set all of this is happening while you're still watching my story. I saw that you read my message and you continue to ignore me. Sent you another message because I was confused at the whiplash that I was experiencing. Still didn't get a response. Negro went ghost for a whole month. A whole month. It sent me down into a down spiral. It caused me to go into a low depression. Because the Negro gaslight, I mean, it's like gaslighting. Like when a person, like, I don't know, there was no problems. Not, not one problem in sight. Like, we were cool. We were completely fine and the negro like literally did a 360 and just ghosted me ghosted me when i tell you i was just completely shocked i was shocked and so i saw and then eventually i ended up basically bringing him back in i ended up basically bringing him back in a month later then a similar situation happened like i think he went goals it was like an ongoing pattern so we were talking in june then he disappeared in july he came back in august then disappeared in september then came back in october around his birthday or it's like towards the end of september towards the i don't know he was like in the picture but not really in the picture in september he i don't know i don't know what he had going on but October, that's when he came back, full force, around his birthday. Then November, everything went to trash. Like everything went to trash. Um, we went, we were completely good. Like it was completely good. Then everything went downhill really fast. Um, early November. Then after that, we had to basically call it quits. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone. Months went by, months went by. He resurfaced around my birthday in March. <sighs> Just horrible decisions I kept making. 
just he resurfaced in March and you know he never really fully stated why he disappeared um it was all like beating around the bush and I was like you know I, at the time I think I was just happy to see him so I just kind of like pushed things to the back of my mind a little bit and um then he disappeared again cannot make this up you were disappeared again for another month then Cinco de Mayo came around got a text got a, got a text yeah y'all know this pattern right I kept letting him come back I was allowing him to treat me this way and after Cinco de Mayo I had to really finally say okay enough is enough this person does not care about you this person is just treating you like you're just you know there because basically you are just there and you're allowing him to so I had to block him on pretty much everything and after I told him off and that was that so please 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 you have to hold yourself accountable in these situations in these relationships whoever you're dealing with you have to hold yourself accountable because the person can continue to treat you a certain way even if you feel like well they care they care about me they don't I'm gonna be the first person to let you know they don't okay because if they did care they wouldn't do it so that's my TED talk for well for today this shows y'all I do not talk in front of cameras that much and it's kind of weird because it's like you're talking to yourself you know but you're talking to the camera though I don't know I don't know but I really hope y'all enjoyed this video that's pretty much how I feel about dating in my 20s. I 10 out of 10 do not recommend. But at the same time, how you gonna get married if you don't date? I know, I'll let somebody find me. Whoever he is, he'll find me. Whoever he is, he'll find me at this point because I give up mentally. I do, I've checked out all the way, completely. That's ridiculous, but it's true. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It is Alexis signing off. And yeah, y'all should go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Comment, like, and subscribe as well. And um, I think I already said subscribe. But yeah, so let me know y'all opinions. And if y'all did the same like.